All right, let's uh, let's give it a try. Thanks, Max. Appreciate your support as always, and let's see if we can find ourselves a win. Yo, Red Kill with the 12 months of Prime. Roll that beautiful butt footage for the one year. Thank you, friend. Big appreciate it. Our battles versus I'm a freak. So what? <laughs> Who's running Ma Wild? That's certainly interesting. Uh, fairy wind on their maw while it seems. Okay. I mean, I assume they just iron head the shit out of me, right? Oh, they went for the pup. That's not good. They're going to... Oh, yeah, they're going to outrace me. All right, well... Oof. That's bad. Oh, play rough. Okay, well... Let's see if they decide they want to keep the shield advantage. It wouldn't surprise me if they do. Okay. This is just another pup, so I'm not going to worry about that. Ah, the old Azumarill. The old Azumarill. Okay. I mean, ultimately, I think we just say, fine. Like, I don't love this, but I think, one, if it's Ice Beam, I think we still have some play to get at least a foul play in here. Now, the question is whether or not they will just tank these and just barely get us. But no, okay, the shield's good. If I can get one more of these. Come on. Oh, that was pretty damn close. Um. All right, what do we want to do here? Oh, that's uh, that's actually pretty good for us. I uh, don't think that was what you wanted to bring in. Also on fairy, they're triple fairy. I don't love this, but I think we have to shield it. Oh my god, it's on sludge. Whoa. Is it Azu coming in? <laughs> I was like, well, we'll see if we can catch a move. Uh, We didn't exactly catch a move, but we ended up catching a move. Ultimately, the result was the same. We, we caught that move. And then the, the, uh, yeah. Okay. GG's. GG's. All right. All right. All right. All right. We get a dub. Interesting team. Triple Fairy. The fact that we got value out of our Sableye against Triple Fairy was immense, right? It was very, very good for us to get value out of our Sableye there. So I'm into that. That's cool for us. Was not expecting to get value out of Sableye against Triple Fairy. Huh. Fun. Interesting Pokemon. All right. We got a Clefable. Oh, boy. That's not really what we were hoping to see. But... I have to assume Shadow Nido King hits very hard. Oh my god, a sand tomb. That, that is not the very hard uh, I was imagining. Okay, well. Don't love that. Probably should have been counting. Yeah, we did ourselves a solid by uh, taking a break over the weekend and we're getting much more interesting teams. Nope, sand tomb again. Okay, well. If we're going to just keep doing that into Dragalgy, but did I get acided by this Dragalgy? Is that acid? Okay. 
Uh, Aqua Tail. I don't think we're shielding this. I think we're taking an Aqua Tail. Acid. I mean, you love it because I get to put a Sand Slash on it. But, like, do we really love it? I mean, I'm not shielding Aqua Tails. I'm hoping that we can... Uh, Jellicent. Okay. So the Nido is still alive, right? We do have to keep in mind that that's a thing. What we're probably going to do is... beam this isn't great for us but we do have the ability there's another bubble beam yeah okay hopefully to kill the nido if it comes in we just need multiple moves here and just straight bubble beaming me so like Guess we're putting ourselves in a bit of an odd spot. But I assume Meteor Mash is still enough. I hope Meteor Mash is still enough to kill a Shadow Nido King. It is, okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Our opponent threw only debuff moves at us, yes? No, it threw uh, Aqua Tails. It did throw some Aqua Tails. Okay, well, good news for us. We overcame uh, Acid Dragalge and Shadow Nido King. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> so there's that. Debuffs and Aqua Tails. Yeah. That's not, that's not it. That's not it. The Dragalge was already kind of in bad spot, but Acid did not help it at all. Ooh, a Vigoroth. That's interesting. That's an interesting Mon. Hmm. Beats anything? Well, yeah, probably. <laughs> <coughs> um, y'all, y'all. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Brick break. There we go. Much better. Much better, opponent. That is the move you should be using. That is the move you should be using. Uh, yeah. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. All right, our opponent has two shielded. This. That's fine. We're just gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna let this go. Um. Many players would benefit from simply not having Brick Break on their Big Roth at all. They would win more games if they simply did not have it. Also, I know both, both their moves are now, so I know I don't have to be afraid of any of that. What I'm trying to decide is, because uh, I don't know that a foul play kills them. So I think I actually just have to return them. I'm going to keep both my shields and just hope that... Uh, they don't have another counter user on their team because Sand Slash is going to run if if they don't. Do you have anything to challenge the Sableye? Woof. Okay. So I'm going to chip this thing just to make sure that a drill run can kill it or at least is more likely to kill it. Right. Right. I may have to shield something here. I mean, I'm going to shield something here, but um, it's fine. We have two shields. Doesn't do a lot of fast move damage to us. And we should do half. <laughs> That's funny, Shark. Yeah, okay. And then what's in the back? Uh, you know, it's not great. 
Not what we wanted to see. Uh, huh. That's not good. I'm not shielding it. It's Ice Beam. I know it's Ice Beam. Drill Run is way better than Bulldoze. I will grant you that. I will grant you that. And then we just got to go two, four, six, eight, and throw on eight. I mean, we're, we're fine either way. Knowing that that was going to be an Ice Beam basically made it more or less very easy for us to just no shield and win plus i figured if they if they somehow killed me there uh having that shield gives sableye enough time to get to a return which should be enough to win that so interesting so we're definitely seeing spicier stuff today than we saw on day one but i think i started playing day one of go battle league literally the minute it started so it was in very much that bracket of everybody starting at the same time and you're equally likely to see very serious and very not serious players simultaneously. Ooh, a Galve? That's kind of fun. I don't have a... Gr it's not a great matchup for us. But if they lunge me, I resist lunge. So let's see if they are tempted to just go straight lunge. They are. They're tempted to just lunge me, which is okay. Um, there's a couple different things we can do here. Ooh, baby. Lunge me again. Nope, they, okay, they discharged me. That's fine. Do you have a Sableye counter? Okay. I mean, the answer to that is kind of yes, kind of no, right? <laughs> kind of yes, kind of no. Oh, well, shit. Our bigger problem is that uh, the Vigoroth, for example... Uh, is a bit of a handful for us. Yeah. And if they just shield this, I don't think we're beating this. Uh, unfortunately, we're just in a really, really bad spot. Like, I don't even want to shield these, right? Like, literally... No, we're not shielding. But the problem is I just don't think I can get... I mean, we'll shield one of them, but I don't think I get to the two ice punches I need to win um, in this matchup. And then the... Uh, what's it called? The Swamper also still has energy, right? So even if we were to kill this, the Swamper probably just ends us. Like, yeah, we're, we're at literally one health. <laughs> After the counter comes through, yeah, we're not we're not beating that. That's definitely a bad team comp for us. So, all right, hey, it happens. It happens. Nothing we could do about the uh, the back line being very good against Steel. Makes sense for the team. Did brick break? I, I don't. I don't need brick break. You didn't need brick break there. Let's be real. You did not need it. <laughs> Oh, it's a Togetic. That's fun. That's a fun Pokemon. Uh, it's not well matched here because we do get to Meteor Mash it, right? And its charge moves are just bad. Togetic has a big old problem where it's just... Charge moves are just terrible. I expect this to be an Aerial Ace. No, Ancient Power. Okay. Do it again. <laughs> I don't really. It doesn't really matter much to me. We have another very good counter to this. So realistically, like, 
if I can just eat up shields or get this matchup uh, where it needs to be, we're going to be in great shape. We're going to be in great shape. Yeah, they're just... Okay. I mean, part of me wants to shield once. Like, I really do. But... Yeah, I think it's worth one shield. Just don't get the boost on that one. Don't get the boost on that one. What move changes have been the most impactful? I think the Trevenant change has been fairly impactful. There we go. Politoed. Oh, give me at least a move. All right, well, we didn't get what I wanted, unfortunately. I was really hoping to get uh, a Moonblast off here because they don't have shield, so it's just... The damage is kind of just going to be what it's going to be. But I think we Sableye this, and I think we're going to be okay. I assume they spam Weather Ball at us. If they YOLO an Earthquake or a Blizzard, that's kind of unfortunate. But, oh, Earthquake. All right. I have bad news, friend. <laughs> hey, Altari is not the answer you were looking for. GG. Yikes. Yikes. All right, we'll take our four-win set. Mex, thank you for the team. Um, obviously, we played through uh, some some matchups that I think were fairly straightforward for us. And uh, we got team comped once, but ultimately pretty good. So thank you for the team, friends. Big appreciate that.